way. I got winners on the way. You ain't weak without a f on your belt. You ain't weak without a ticket on your plate. You ain't sick enough to pull it on yourself. You ain't rich enough to hit the ladder straight. Tell me when destruction gonna be my fate. Gonna be a fate. Gonna be a fate. Peace to the world. Let it rotate. Money in my DNA. Just a short time ago, this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century-old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago as their guys get set to do battle with Matt Ryan and the defending NFC champions, the Atlanta Falcons. and brings up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. the 26. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. From the gun, it's Ryan. It's caught, Jones. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Julio back-to-back all-pro seasons last year over 1,400 yards, averaged over 100 yards per game, tops in the NFL. And that's the stat that catches my eye. Over 100 yards per game, and you always hear about defenses saying, we can rotate, we can send people in this direction, we can do things to limit a wide receiver, yet Julio Jones averages over 100 per game. One of the most sensational stats I've seen in recent football. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down.
They run. Devontae Freeman. And he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. And here comes play number six on this drive. This is Freeman on first and ten. And oh, he is really laid out that time. Knocked flat on his back at the 23. throw it with Ryan and incomplete there a nice hit jars the ball free and brings up third down even the greats in this game and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them they're gonna have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage he better be careful throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off Play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. From the shotgun, Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. So on fourth down, off goes Matt Ryan. And on is another Matt, Matt Bryant. And the 42-year-old veteran's kick is up and good. And the Falcons are out to a 3-0 advantage. So it's our visitors who make the first dent in the scoreboard as they get three here on the initial drive of the ball game. Yeah, it's hard to say who actually won that opening drive. On the one hand, anytime you can come in as a road team and get an early lead, you're going to be thrilled. But at the same time, to have the ball as deep in enemy territory as they did and come away with only three, that's got to be a little bit of a disappointment.
Looking to throw. Trubisky on first down. Dumps that off to his running back, Jordan Howard. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Second down now after the pass completion. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Hurry up, here we go. A first carry now for Jordan Howard. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Throw on first down with Trubisky. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's right. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Just one yard to go here on second down. Watch that in. Watch that in. That is right. That is right. Time running out here on the play clock. This is Howard on second down. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Clock running here, under a minute to go now in the first quarter of a 3-0 game. Here we go now, Green, 39, Detroit, Detroit! And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. On first, they go right back to Howard. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Trubisky with a give to Howard. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end.
And here comes play number six on this drive. They'll try to run for it with Howard. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They went backwards five yards there on third down to break up fourth. Here's Pat O'Donnell to punt in his fourth year from Miami. Back deep, Taylor Gabriel. at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Falcons offense, as they head back out there, Charles, what can this unit do for an encore? When you look at 2016, they scored 540 points, 71 more than anybody else in the league, so those are big shoes to fill. They certainly are, while they'll have a different play caller in 2017. They still have Matt Ryan at quarterback, mm. who was the NFL's MVP last year, had a phenomenal season, and with his work ethic, he expects to be even better as he continues to move forward. He's got Julio Jones to throw the ball to, two-headed monster, a running back. They feel great about offense, and they got better on defense as the year went along last year and actually drafted another pass rusher, Tack McKinley, out of UCLA. For them, the encore is getting back to the Super Bowl and winning it this time. Second down, Freeman. And an alley to run. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Here's Freeman. And he takes it across midfield to the 45. Second and very short here, less than a yard. Ryan getting it out left side to Sanu and he's going to get this inside the 30 he got 18 yards out of that one and it gets him a new set of downs I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play because guess what the guy catching the ball he'll get all the credit but how about the people up to block in front of him either fellow receivers or offensive linemen that makes that play a really nice timing play and sometimes it can break big Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Jones will come now in motion right. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30.
Second down, Ryan. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. Hey, let's go. Devontae Freeman, that he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. down carry and he's brought down it's a good gain of 11 sets him up first and goal now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs he's getting past the point of attack and guess what he's doing forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles they'll look to run with Freeman and he gets in touchdown Atlanta Devontae Freeman taking it in. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. you got to figure if they want to have success this year, the more they can put the football in his hands, the better coming off a Pro Bowl campaign. And that Pro Bowl campaign does more than just get him notoriety. It also plants an idea in the minds of guys trying to defend him that he's really pretty good and sometimes gives you a little bit of extra room, a little bit of extra deference, and he's taking advantage of it. That's fielded in the end zone. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. For the Bears, as their offense takes the field, I guess you figure last season was kind of rock bottom, Charles. They finished 3 and 13, tying a franchise record for losses in a year. They used three different starting QBs and were last in the NFC North for the third straight season. So, where does the optimism come from this year? That's what the Bears fans are asking themselves because they are a defensive minded group of people, right? They love their heroes that stop other people from scoring. And I thought that's where they were headed in the draft. Instead, you did hear the name, Mitchell Trubisky. Mm -hmm. But you made the case. Three different starting quarterbacks in 2016. And think about their division. Look who's playing quarterback in Green Bay, yeah. in Detroit, in Minnesota. They've got to have one of those guys themselves. And that's why they invested in the youngster out of North Carolina. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Soldier Field following this short break. And the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. All right, here we go. Three, watch it now, party, party. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Charles, you are the master of abstract facts. So who would you say is the best player ever drafted from Ashland University in Ohio? How about the only one ever drafted from there? Adam Shaheen, the tight end, went to the Chicago Bears, began his college career, though, as a basketball player, Division II in the state of Pennsylvania. Third down, Trubisky, eluding the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. That's complete to Meredith. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. They'll 
run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Trubisky to throw on second. Try to get it to Wheaton, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. So the first interception of his career under center, and you knew it was going to happen sooner or later. It has to. And I know he feels like the world is just tumbling down at this moment, but there's got to be some veteran somewhere, some mentor that's going to tell him, hang in there, my man. Plenty more to come. Keep firing. After the interception, here's Ryan. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball, just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. Now Ryan on second down. Jones has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. The left side completion to Jones. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. running back it's complete and he's going to get this inside the 30 that one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks everyone's got to be able to catch the football doesn't matter what position you play but if you're on offense be aware ball may come your way so three seconds here remain in the half on is the field goal unit to see about getting three points Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports halftime report. Larry? A first update now from Cincinnati. And it's the Ravens that have moved out to an early advantage. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it's just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Now Trubisky on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. 
It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The rookie from UCLA, Tech McKinley. And that's going to make it fourth down. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. A reminder that later tonight we'll see the Giants and Cowboys battle in Dallas. Seems like they're always playing in week one. And then on Monday night, a doubleheader. Adrian Peterson, his first game with the Saints. He's already back in Minnesota to play the Vikings. And then a 10-20 start on the East Coast. It's the first game for the L.A. Chargers traveling to Denver. A nice AFC West matchup. In motion right is Jones. They'll try to get the ground game going with Freeman. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. Out of the gun. It's Ryan. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll lead here to a third down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Here's Ryan. And he's got Sanu. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Ryan to Sanu. Good for an Atlanta first down. taken down no gain on the play there second down and when you're running the football one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there and swallow you whole in those d tackles and nose tackles no you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them but on that play the defensive tackle had the leverage and he won the battle no gain correct no gain On second down, here's Ryan. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. 
They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. To throw on second down. Ryan. He goes underneath to Freeman. And Freeman lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Elsewhere, second half is underway up in Orchard Park. The Jets now up over the Bills. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. Looking to throw on second down. Ryan on the screen. This is Coleman. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of one. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. The Falcons on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and 16. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Ryan. Throw left side complete. It's Jones. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. They have, by the way, gone to the third quarter now at Ford Field in Detroit. And it's the Lions who have scored to extend their lead. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. And Bryant's kick is good. And the lead extends. It's 15-0. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. 
Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give him some breathing room and lets him build up a little cushion. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. Looking deep downfield. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Back out of that Philly. Here we go. All right, here we go. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Brooks Reed in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. Hard throw. Incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Detroit! Detroit! Adams the man in motion right. Play clock winding down. Here we go. It's Trubisky on fourth down. Try to lay one up deep. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Gabriel, the man in motion. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burt. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Falcons will extend their lead. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Oh, partner, that play brought back memories. Watching them string it out, letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him to throw. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, took a little more time off the clock, making him do it that way, didn't they? Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. 
tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running, just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Let's go, let's... From the shotgun is Trubisky. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Now it's Trubisky. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Again on second and ten, it's Trubisky. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. The critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Gone after the sack. He's still down on the field. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. Second down here after the incomplete pass. shift together here from the D-line. Second and ten now. Ryan looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. It's the rookie from Alabama, Eddie Jackson with a pick. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job. Finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down, and it's complete. The tight end, Deion Sims. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Fresh set of downs here. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. The Falcons, following that Super Bowl heartbreak, try to show everyone that they're back and better than ever, and they can finish a good road win here in the opener. They've got it first and ten. From midfield now, here's Ryan. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, 50 yards. And the Falcons turn that interception into a touchdown. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Shaheen, the tight end on the right side. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they march up another 15 against your squad. On first down, Trubisky over the middle. That's caught by Meredith. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll be second down. up to about the 47 yard line he'll pick up only a yard there and it'll leave him with a third and seven well if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there they sold out to stop that running play i'd say keep that in mind they want to try that again go play action hit them over the top all right here we go Boom, watch it now barney barney on third down trubisky and the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Grady Jarrett with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. All right, here we go. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Able to find Shaheen, the tight end. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. 
What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Second and ten, it's Trubisky again. Now a desperation throw deep depth, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. It's Desmond Trufant, and not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They're excited about where they are in this game. And this looks to probably be the final play. Watch 18, 18, watch 18. Hey, stop! Hey, stop! You're an island. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at the 18. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. He's been busy today, and he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard.